This video is sponsored by YC Sports. Are you ready for three generations of art saber comparisons? I know I am. This is so hard. It's hard because the Arcsaber 10 has been my favourite racket for about a decade now. I started with it when it first launched in 2008 and 100% remember the day when I broke my first Arcsaber and I had to shed a tear for that guy. The rest is history. You all that follow my channel closely will know that I've only swapped over to the Astrox 88D Pro in the second half of last year, so it certainly has been a while. So in this video we will be comparing the latest Arcsaber 11 Pro against the last two flagship Arcsabers, namely the Arcsaber 11 and the OG Arcsaber 10. If you want the in-depth review of the latest Arcsaber 11 Pro alongside its sibling, the Arcsaber 11 Tour and Play, go check out here. Whereas today in this video, I'm going to focus primarily on feel and playing performance of all three rackets. Let's start with the Arcsaber 10. Although I've not played with the Arcsaber 10 at all since I fully swapped over to the Astrox 88D Pros, but as soon as I started warming up with it, everything that is familiar to me literally just came back. Yes, I did notice that I was back playing with a 3U racket, but the familiar even balance, steady shot production, whilst being evenly stiff throughout the whole racket, in addition to the comfortable responsive hitting feeling, the Art Saber 10 is back, baby. And I also want to make a note that this hole that George and I train and play in is a pretty hard hole for us. As we noticed, the hole is a big hole, hence it's super slow and it's hard to get the shoulder going properly. But with the Arc Saber 10, I didn't have to make any adjustments to how I was hitting or moving and everything just clicked naturally. Maybe my body has an unconscious bias towards the Arc Saber 10 as well at this time and everything just feels super familiar for me. Yes, I can feel that the Arc Saber 10 is slightly slower than the Astrox 88D Pros due to its bigger head as well as only top half recess frame profile, but it certainly had more than enough power for my liking. Sweet. As soon as I switched to the 11 and immediately you can feel the 11 is smoother than the 10. I wasn't able to confirm this with some form of specific measurement, but I believe the Arcsaber 11 being smoother than a 10 comes from the frame being more rounded than the 10, which had a more aggressive curve in the frame when stringing against the wind. So the Arcsaber 11 being smoother also means it's slightly faster in this case, but only just. Remember, the Arcsaber 11 was released in February 2013, which was five years after the Arcsaber 10. So this is also a really old model in terms of bracket age, but I guess in this situation, old is gold as it provided that steady presence where it provided you with confidence. So the 11 certainly has a softer hitting feeling compared to the 10, as both had the same strings in this test, but the strings on the 11 is tighter, yet they both feel similar. This is actually down to the increased hold time present in the Arts of 11 compared to the 10, which had more repulse to it. So back when the Arts of 11 was released, something new back then, which was called the T Anchor, was incorporated into the racket then, and it's still retained in the latest generation of Arts of 11 Pro nine years later. This shows how good an effect it had on the racket itself. Unsurprisingly, the Arts of 11 had all the same measurements and dimensions as the 10, from the head size to the shaft to the handle length, etc. Additionally, this was also a 3U racket, so the effect of switching from the 10 to 11 in this instance was minimal. As this was a bottle racket, thanks Ian by the way, the grips were done differently than how I would normally do mine. I'm someone who really likes to feel the ridges of the wooden handle, and I was struggling to get my width correctly on court as the Boro Arc Save 11 had multiple layers of grips on, making it round but super comfy. A little bit of adjustment needed there. As usual for an Arc Saber racket, there isn't a lack of power with the 11, but at the same time, I wouldn't say it had more power than the 10. Both had a very similar amount of power, just the Arc Saber 11 feels softer and smoother. Then, when I swapped to the Arc Saber 11 Pro, and here's a fact, if you like the 11, you will like the 11 Pro. With that, let me take a breather and thank today's video sponsor, YC Sports. YC Sports is a racket sports specialist store based in the UK, but delivering worldwide. They are launching a new t-shirt customizing service, which allow you guys to customize your own Yonex brand team wear. There are a wide range of color combinations and design patterns for you to choose from. And you can also add your own logo design and text to create your perfect t-shirts that truly represent your club, team, school, or organization. All the printing is embedded into the 
fabric so you don't have to worry about any printing peeling off after a wash. I've been wearing some of my custom t-shirts in my videos recently and I absolutely love them. Just head on to the kit builder, link in the description below and have some fun playing around and have your very own team wear delivered to your doorstep. Don't forget to use my discount code CKYW for additional discounts for all the latest bumps and gear and equipment from YC Sports. Thank you again to YC Sports for sponsoring today's video. The only direct noticeable difference between the 11 and the 11 Pro would be the new frame design where the 11 had the exact same measurements as the 10 as the top half of the racket was recessed. The 11 Pro had recesses in its frame in four sections around the frame. The 11 Pro's frame is also a touch thinner compared to the 10 and 11 whilst having identical frame height and width. In addition, the 11 Pro certainly has more hold time than the 11 and 10 and more hold time is certainly something Yonex feels that badminton is heading towards. Even for example, the modern Astroxes have more hold like the 99 Pro and they all have bigger sweet spots at the same time. But for the Arcebe 11 Pro, because of it having more hold time, it will again feel slightly softer than the 11. So definitely softest of the three, but not by much. With that said, the 11 Pro also had a slightly thinner and longer shaft compared to the 11 and 10. If I could add a few bars for comparison here, one for repulsion, one for feel and one for hold time. For repulsion, the highest would be the 10, then the 11, ending with the 11 Pro. For feel, the 10 would be the crispiest, then the 11, then ending with the 11 Pro. But when I say the 10 feels crispiest, it's not crispy like say the Z Force 2 or the Asterix 100ZZ or even the old school Nano Speed 9900. It feels a couple notches below those, but when only comparing against these three, yep, the 10 is certainly the crispiest. Just like fried chicken. The third bar representing our hold time bar, and this is where the ArcSave 11 Pro is the absolute boss for this. Then comes the arts of 11 into play before ending with the 10. You can see it's the complete opposite in terms of repulsion and hold time, and that's just physics. If you want something to sit in with that trampling effect, it's gonna absorb more energy before releasing it again, hence feeling softer, physics. With the hold time of the Arcsave 11 Pro, you can certainly feel the shuttle biting onto the string, especially if you're an aerobite lover like me. Additionally, I also feel that the more relaxed you are with the Arcsave 11 Pro, the more you will get out of this racket. Don't force it, it will come to you. I do have one thing to add though, if we are only comparing these three rackets, under lots of pressure, the Arcsave 11 Pro will be the easiest one to play with and will get the shuttle to go to where you want it to due to the increased hold time. The 10 and 11 lags behind the 11 Pro in this department ever so slightly. So, 100% the ArcSave 11 Pro is the ultimate off day racket if you're having a bad day with your main racket. I'm super excited for the ArcSave 11 Pro and I'm not disappointed at all. I now have to make an even harder decision. Do I swap to these ArcSave 11 Pros? I will see you in the next one.